Welcome back everybody, this is Adrian from Inside Byte. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about Apache NiFi Expression Language. What is NiFi Expression Language? Well, it's the ability to reference attribute, compare them to another values, and manipulate their values while they are linked to a flow file. If you haven't seen the flow file anatomy, here's a snippet of this tutorial. Make sure you go and um, Watch this tutorial to understand better the anatomy of a flow file. Right, why do we need the NiFi expression language? Well, NiFi is very rich in attributes that are present across all flow files, and the flow files are the core components of NiFi basically. So, how do we use expression language? Well, we started with a dollar sign and followed by a curly brace. After the curly brace, we add a variable name that we're going to use to and after the variable we get a column followed by the function we're going to apply and then we close the curly brace and this is the syntax when used when we want to use uh, expression language in NiFi now let's move on to the type of uh, grouped expression language by use case we get the data type conversion basically data type conversion meaning when you want to cast the data type move it from in to a string the logical operator in and or uh, so these are also available the mathematical operators which are plus minus division mode the string manipulation operators uh, where we can manipulate string the string search um, expression language functions where we can look through text or other type of uh, strings JSON search this is a very powerful feature where you look through J gens, JSON bodies and JSON object uh, the subjectless function these are like function that they don't require an input but they will give you a return such as now or um, encode and decode basically uh, like the name says we're gonna encode data and decode with them and we're going to go through examples date manipulation so we talk about timestamp date format date time format minutes seconds all of that uh, jazz and finally evaluation of multiple attributes so this will allow us to evaluate multiple attributes as the flow file goes through that particular stage so let's jump into it and find how we can work with expression language in NiFi all right so right now let's open uh, our NIFI instance and let's see how we can use the expression language editor I have a flow created here and I'm generating a flow file and then I'm applying some expression language to some attributes that are come so I, we have an attribute here created my attribute um, with a value called value very straightforward right now here the update attribute allows me to update the incoming attributes but what we're going to do now we're going to explore how we can let's say add a, uh, an expression language definition so let's say um let's call this one demo el expression language and right now you remember what we talked about earlier the way we uh, start our syntax it's with a dollar and open curly break bra bracket if i were to control space so he will give me a list of functions here you see those are coming by default so if i would say ip if you select it you see it gives you what arguments are required um and what he will return if i would go to all attributes uh, this one <coughs> it requires some attributes it gives you a definition so this is very helpful now let's say i want to i don't want to use any of this right now i want to use the incoming attribute so i will call it my attribute and now the column and again if i want to search again of, of a particular expression again control space and now you see we have multiple so i would say you can even look it's sort of a, um, a search so let's say i want to do something with string so you see it gives me uh or i want to say something that started with g i right, see g greater 
greater or equal, get the limited field greater than. So in this example, I want to get a uh, equal, let's say equals. And now open close uh, round bracket and say AAA. This will and then close bracket. This will basically evaluate my incoming value from my attribute against AAA. And since the value of this attribute is value, this will give this return a false. So let's apply. And what I'll do, I'll start this processor and run this generate flow run once. And let's look at the outcomes. So basically, you're going to look in the list queue. And here, we're going to click on this view detail button. And we're going to go, you see, normally you get the details and then you get the attributes. And here you will see the values or the outcome. So remember, we we had a definition of uh, evaluate if attribute value is equal to AAA. And he returned me a false. Right. Now, let's go to the other one. So as a matter of fact, um, all right, so now we have them side by side. So let's evaluate what we've done so far. So if you look at the the outcome of demo EL, where we are evaluating this attribute against this function, and we say, does this equal with AAA? The response is false. So that is correct answer. Now, this my attribute created, uh, what we do here, we're taking this attributes value and we're putting it to upper. Basically, we are making it uppercase. So we can see that my attribute um, comes in as an uppercase. Now, the following example, it's where we say uh, the white space. Let's click on it and see. So this is also correct um, syntax. You know, the white space between and uh, after and after column. Um, so if you have a white space here uh, and a white space after the, um, the attribute that will be evaluated and then this is similar syntax. This um, expression will be correctly evaluated. If you were to have something like this, uh, like, um, let me stop the processor. You would have something like this. This will create an issue. The processor will fail. So let's get, let's just give it a try. If you see the processor is not in valid state, it's just going to fail. All right. So we have a failure basically. Let's just put it here. So unexpected token. Now we're going to go and configure it and bring it back together. All right. So now let's move to the next explanation data types input and output for a function so each argument that we pass to a function will return um, a response and the available uh, data types in expression language are strings or a sequence of strings number uh, it's a it can be any type of number decimals dates and boolean so those are our five types of um, data types. Cool. Now that we showcase how we can actually use the expression language editor and how the expression language structure is. So in the next chapter, we are going to go over what types of function and expression language we have. And we go through, we're going to go through that initial list of Boolean operators, date formatting, and all sort of stuff. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Stick around for the expression language because it's very important. In the future tutorials, we're going to heavily use expression language in our NiFi uh, flows. And probably 90% of the flows will use uh, expression language.